Hello, this is Harleen Baga coming to you from Soul Therapy. I am a psychotherapist and a relationship and success coach using techniques from NLP, mindfulness, CBT, uh, counseling and life coaching for my treatments. Today's topic is that of growth. Man has been obsessed with growth from time immemorial. Both science and history has shown us that growth has been one of the reasons mm -hmm. that has propagated man to push boundaries, to achieve far beyond that than what he initially thought he was capable of achieving. So growth by itself is not a bad thing. Growth is the reason for your motivation. Growth is why you push yourself. Growth is why you get up in the morning and why you uh, refuse to accept failure so growth is a fantastic thing to have a good person a good a behavior to befriend and have uh, in your core skills but if growth is so important why do we stop growth at accolades at achievements because if you think about it it is growth that is the reason why maybe wars happened in the past. It is the reason for growth that we push our children to become better. It is for our growth that we push ourselves at work to get that next promotion, to do that next task. It is for growth that we challenge ourselves to uh, learn to get into the unknown and figure things out so that tomorrow we come out of it better and stronger. I love the fact that we are able to challenge ourselves mentally and physically even sometimes. But what happens to the emotions and the thoughts? Because it is these thoughts and emotions that actually keep you sustained in your fight towards growth. Why is it when our relationships are at subpa when we are unhappy we accept that and compromise on that where is the penchant for growth then what happens when we feel that there is something that is troubling us emotionally mentally when we feel rejected by society or when we are labeled and those labels hurt us and somewhere inhibit our ability to grow at the pace that we want to grow. What happens to the growth at that part of the brain? Why is it that we want to shun and ignore our emotional and uh, mental growth where our emotions are concerned? If growth is what is important to us as humans, then should we not be investing in emotional growth as well? This is a call to all of you, especially given the situation around to embrace growth, not just in your career, not just financially, but embrace growth for who you are. Embrace growth in your emotions, in your maturity, in your emotional and mental balance. Realize and accept when things are not okay. And just like how you would fight when things is not okay at work, object to your own mind when you feel your relationship at home is subpar raise an objection and dig a deep dive to be able to grow beyond it to figure out what it is that is troubling you because only when we truly grow when we truly embrace growth from uh, a holistic point of view is when we will actually grow and grow as a person grow in a way that we are actually in a position to create a mark and leave behind a legacy that people would die for i request you to please think think on this reflect on it not just for yourself but your family and your loved ones permit them and allow them to recognize and accept when things are wrong and encourage them to grow because growth is a part of our DNA. Let's not deny that. Thank you.
please like subscribe and share this video so that we are able to create a community where we are truly building each other up rather than tearing each other down with labels and falsities thanks